President of the Congress, Gudrun Munster Thorsten, welcome to our Mediabox platform. As we are coming to the end of the second session of this year, let's say, what are your outcomes and assessments on the session? Well, it was once again a very uh, fruitful and very interesting and important session. We discussed uh, important issues, challenges Europe is facing, and one of the newest challenges is the Catalonian question. We had a long discussion on that, and I'm very glad that the Congress uh, members uh, just gave such uh, balanced uh, and good statements concerning this uh, uh, question. Because uh, the Congress supports strong regions, yes, but the, the uh, strong autonomous region must be within the legal framework. So this was one outcome. The other outcome was that we really uh, support a dialogue between the Spanish government and the Catalonian government. So this is very important, the dialogue and the respect. Uh, and um, the, um, the constitutional question is a question who, which has to be solved within the country. But uh, in case of there is an approach towards uh, the constitutional question, the Congress can give support. We have a lot of experience. But summarize once again, dialogue is important, respect, and the legal framework. Because the rule of law is one core business we uh, have in the Congress. And we have to respect the rule of law. And we also know that it was uh, Congress also ce celebrated the 10th anniversary of the European Local Democracy Week. Would you like to also say a couple of words on that? Uh, we uh, celebrated the 10th uh, anniversary of the European Local uh, Democracy Week, and uh, this is uh, uh, very important. Uh, Ten years working on citizens' participation to involve the citizens in the daily work. So they do a, a gorgeous job. And uh, we also celebrated the 10th anniversary of the Dostal Prize, a prize who um, who is given to um, uh, municipalities which uh, uh, try to uh, involve uh, Roma citizens in their municipalities, young people, and it's a very important work. And uh, when I talk about young people, uh, we had a very um, a very important discussion concerning the uncompanied uh, minors and um, we are doing very often uh, framework, uh, theoretical work, and then we invited three young uncompanied uh, minors and they uh, told us their story, what they went through, how they felt, which obstacles they had, and what are they doing today. And we were so impressed, just in a few years, they learned the languages, they try to integrate, and. Uh, it was going to the heart of everyone, and it showed that the theoretical work we are sometimes doing uh, has so much impact on the practical life, and it is so important. And this was really a wonderful uh, part of our session. So I was very happy about that as well. As you also mentioned, unaccompanied minors and the younger generation, it's also important maybe to note that once again we saw an effective involvement of youth delegates of the Congress. So they were also very active in the session. What are your observations on this new generation? Well, the youth delegates are um, such an important part of our session and I'm very glad that they uh, are regularly attending the sessions and uh, they do a, a great job and it's an added value to us because we learn from each other we really feel and they are so committed they really take part in any uh, discussion in every discussion uh, they give their uh, point of view and uh, you I mean in general, it, the youth is the future of our 
life of our political life, social life, whatever. And um, we in the Congress uh, have a lot of experience uh, with young people. I just take one example, the Ukraine. Um, I was in the Ukraine in uh, July and uh, I attended uh, a meeting with young people. Uh, they were working to improve democracy, rule of law and human rights in, the, in their country. And I really saw the will, the wish to uh, improve the situation in their country. And if they, from the ground, uh, are the ones who push our core values, then I think we are in a very good way and we have to work on that. And it's always a peer-to-peer -peer approach. Uh, we have, and this peer-to-peer -peer approach, let us talk on the same high, uh, eye height, and uh, we can really, once again, learn from each other, and we should do so. Mr. President, thank you for joining us. Thank you.